Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss iterative deepening depth first search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple numerical example. This is the modified version of depth limited search algorithm, which is again a modified version of depth first search algorithm in artificial intelligence. I have discussed both depth first search algorithm as well as depth limited search algorithm in the previous videos. Link for those videos is given in the description below. To understand iterative deep link depth first search algorithm, first we will try to understand depth first search algorithm briefly. In DFS algorithm, we will start at the root node and then we will try to traverse uh, the left side of that particular tree and then uh, if we get the root uh, goal node, we will stop over there otherwise we will try to search the right side of that particular tree. The same process will be continued unless and until we will get the goal node here. So in this case, uh, G is the goal node. So we will start at A and then we will go to this particular left subtree that is uh, B. From this particular B, we will go to the left subtree again that is D because B is not a goal node. Now from this particular D, we will go to H. Now when you read this particular H, we don't have any further nodes here. So we will try to go back and then get the right subtree. To this particular D, we don't have any right subtree. So we will go to this particular B. We have a right subtree. So it will go to this particular E here. Now from this particular E, we will go to this particular I, still we have not yet reached the goal node here. So we will go to this particular A, the right subtree is equal to C here. Now from C, we will go to this particular F, from F, we will go to this particular G in this case. So once you reach this particular goal node, we will stop here. So this is how the DFS algorithm works in this case. In iterative deepening depth first search algorithm, Rather than going to this particular the leaf node to get this particular goal node, we will do one thing. We will put a restriction on this particular level in every iteration. For example, in iteration 0, we will consider that the level is equal to 0 in this case. That is, we will reach, we will try to search the goal node only at this particular level in this case. So that is, the tree is considered only up to here, not below this particular thing. So if you consider only this much, we will reach this particular A. A is not a goal node, so we cannot get this particular goal node with respect to the level 0 here. So what we do is we will extend this particular level up to here, that is level 1. So we will consider only up to A, B, C here. Now again we will start at A. So when we start at this particular A, we will go to what is that called as B here. And from this particular B, we cannot go beyond this particular level because as I said earlier it is iteration 1 and the level is equal to 1 over here. So it will try to search in the right hand side we will go to this particular C here. Again we haven't reached this particular goal node with respect to this iteration. So what we do we will increase the iteration in here. So the iteration in this case will become the 2 and the level is equal to 2 here. So up to here we will try to search in this case. So again we will start at A it will go to B and then from B to D from D, we will go. We will not go to this particular H because we have already reached the level. So we will go back to this particular E now. And then from E, we will not go to this particular I. We will come back to this particular C here. From C, uh, we will go to this particular F. From F, we will come back to this particular G here. So in this case, uh, A to B, B to D, D to E, E to C, C to F, and F to G. Now we have reached the goal node. So that is uh, the final uh, the path in this particular case. So in this case, what we did is uh, we will start with uh, level 0 and then we will try to search for the goal node. If we found it's quite good. Otherwise, we will increase this particular level and then we will try to find the goal node. Again, if you find it, it's quite good. Otherwise, we will go on increasing the levels unless and until we will get this particular goal node over here. So this is how the iterative deepening depth first search algorithm works. This is the modified version of depth limited search algorithm. In depth limited search algorithm, we will set one limit. Below that only, we will try to search for the goal over there. I have discussed that particular uh, al algorithm in the previous video. Do follow that particular video to understand the depth limited search algorithm in artificial intelligence. So in this video, I have discussed iterative deepening depth first search algorithm. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.